Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall be looking at a question which appeared in GATE 2006 examination. This is a two mark question. So let's have a look here uh, at the question. So in this question, we are given two bijections F and G, right? They are defined from the set of real numbers excluding the number 0 and 1 from the same uh, set, right? So these are two bijections which are defined by the functions f of x which is 1 by 1, by 1 minus x and g of x which is x divided by x minus 1. If we consider uh, capital G to be the group which is generated by the function f and the function g under the composition of mappings, right? So and moreover g has order 6, in this case they are saying g and its automorphism group they are both abelian g and its automorphism group both are non-abelian or g is abelian but its automorphism group is non-abelian or g is non-abelian but its automorphism group is abelian so what is the case here so let's have a look at the solution now because we are given f and g as two uh, bijections where the functions are defined in this manner. Now first of all we will check that the group which is generated by f and g under the co uh, composition mapping of functions. So this group whether this is abelian or non-abelian. So for that what we re are required? We are required to take two elements from g. So let's consider f and g from uh, capital G group right. So, and so we will see that whether f of g is it equal to uh, g of f right so, uh, if that is so then we would have the abelian uh, group and otherwise we would have a non-abelian group correct so first of all we will calculate f of g of x now we know by definition g of x is what it is given to be x divided by x minus 1 and what is f of x f of x is 1 upon 1 minus x so in place of x here we are now writing x upon x minus 1 so that we would have 1 upon 1 minus x x minus 1 so we uh, can simplify this and our solution is 1 minus x however when we calculate g of f of x so first of all we'll apply the definition for f of x which is 1 upon 1 minus x now in the definition for g of x we are replacing this x with our function f of x right so wherever we have x we will now write 1 upon 1 minus x so that we have 1 upon 1 minus x 1 upon 1 minus x minus 1 so you can simplify this and uh, have your answer as 1 by x so you see both of them they are not equal to each other this one and this one hence uh, f of g of x and g of f of x they are also not equal to each other if that is so the group is non-abelian because we have such pair uh, which do not commute with each other so therefore this group is non-abelian hence option a is incorrect option c is incorrect right now we have to see for the automorphism group of uh, this group g now for that because g is non-abelian group therefore its group of automorphism would also be non-abelian why this is so because we rarely have we uh, uh, have any group of automorphisms which are abelian whenever the given group is non-abelian and they are very difficult to define so therefore the group of automorphisms of a non-abelian group is non-abelian this is what we use here right so therefore our option number uh, B is correct G and its automorphism group both are non-abelian but how this is so so let me show you this thing here for example if we consider this example of symmetric group S3 so we know there are six elements in within this group right and moreover our group G has order 6 in the in this question the order of G is 6 so that means this G is either isomorphic to S3 or it is isomorphic to z6 this is all we know right now z6 uh, is an uh, abelian group right and s3 is non-abelian right Why, uh, how this is non-abelian uh, let me show you 
S3 is non abelian. We have six elements here. If we take one element to be 1, 2, 3, another element to be a transposition 1, 2, then what would be AB? It would be 1, 2, 3 composed with 1, 2. Now from here, we move from uh, right to left. So that means 1 here goes to 2 and 2 goes to 3. So that means 1 goes to 3. So we have 1 goes to 3. What about 2? 2 goes to 1 here and 1 goes to 2. So that means 2 goes to 2, right? So 2 goes to 2. And what about 3? Uh, here there is no 3. Here this 3 goes to 1. So that means this 3 goes to 1. So therefore we have a transposition composed with 1 cycle. We can ignore the 1 cycle. So this is our answer. Next, uh, in uh, order to solve this BA, we would have to solve 1, 2 uh, composed with 1, 2, 3. So here you see 1 goes to 2 and 2 goes to 1. So that means this 1 goes to 1 only. So we have this uh, 1 cycle here. What about 2? 2 goes to 3 and there is no 3. So that means 2 goes to 3. Next, what about 3? 3 goes to 1 here and 1 goes to 2. So that means 3 goes to 2. So 3 goes to 2. So we have 1 cycle here and 1 transposition. So we can ignore 1 cycle. We would have 2, 3 as the answer. So you see this 1, 3 transposition is not equal to the transposition 2 3 so therefore both of them they are not equal to each other if they are not equal to each other so that means this group is non-abelian group right so that means our given group uh, is isomorphic to s3 it is non-abelian and the group of automorphism of this group s3 is non uh, abelian also why because if we define the automorphisms given by the conjugation of by a and conjugation by b that do not commute because we uh, you see we have the element a b as the transposition 1 3 and b a as the transposition 2 3 now if we take a b into b a it would be 1 3 2 and if we take B A into A B, that would be 1, 2, 3. So you see both of them, they are not equal to each other. Hence, this group of automorphism is also non-abelian. And this is what we wanted to uh, check here in this particular case. So I hope you understood this question well. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching.